Good morning, interwebs. It's 1220. I heard a bit of a rumble and a scuffle downstairs this morning while I was sleeping, but I came down and Steve did something completely different than I thought he was doing. Look what Steve's up to. He's standing on a step stool putting up my bookshelves. And there's all the things that go on there. And then he put my shelves up. These are those cabinets you I told you. You the stuff that wasn't on them incorrectly. You get to say, here's my part. Yes, that's true. And so then there's the, sh the cabinets that I told you about that we got. And then he moved my computer and stuff over. Because I found that um, my computer seems to work better with like lots of air. And the best way for it to get that is obviously, you know, on a shelf. Because then I can't pile junk around it. So that's what we're doing today. So it is just after four, and here is what I have managed to clean up in this craziness that is our parlor. So I kind of like move some things around over here so like this heap is gone. Of course, I still can't use my desk yet. And I threw some things in the cupboards. The paper reams are gonna stay up there. The other stuff is just kind of getting it out of the way and I need a place for it to be right now. Haven't quite decided what's going in those cupboards ultimately anyways. I still need to get rid of that box so I can have my desk chair back so, you know, I can use my desk. And I cleaned up, I emptied a couple baskets of books and I started setting up those shelves. I'm going to need to probably buy some more or I need to look around and see if there's any more lumber to make a few more bookshelves and then fill these shelves here. What I'm doing, if you can see, is I'm staggering shorter shelves instead of doing like long shelves that go all the way across with the plan that the shelf itself you see how the shelf here is acting as a bookend for those books the shelves will self bookend and then there's gonna be like a little bitty space between each one which we can just like store junk on I don't know or maybe I'll come up with something cute to go there we will see and I have made my daughter's um the stuff for the dinner tonight is in the oven. She requested, we're supposed to bring like an entree and then either a salad or a dessert. And I said, what do you want for the entree? And she picked enchilada casserole. And I asked her which one, cause you know, we have like a bajillion versions. And she requested the one that has the masa on the bottom and then the uh, cottage cheese and salsa verde on the top. When I make that version, I don't usually put cheese on it, but it looks a little more appetizing to people who are a little scared of salsa verde. <laughs> When you put cheese on top so I put the cheese on top and it's ooey gooey and delicious looking it is baking hotter than I usually bake it but it's because I have a little less time than usual so it should be done right about the time we leave which means it will arrive hot at least and then she wanted jello blocks so those are chilling in the fridge and chilling in the fridge they're doing both so that is kind of where I'm at and then right now I'm going to you know, as though I don't have enough yarn barf of my own. My daughter was working on, she designed her very own toy today, which was kind of exciting. Um, but she, uh, she made that mess out of her ball. And I was like, um, so that handful of yarn you're carrying around, are you going to ball it up? She's like, hmm. I said, do you want me to ball it up? So I'm going to fix her yarn barf for her. And then shortly here, we're going to all start getting around. We have to be there at five, so about an hour till we have to go. And it's only about like 10, maybe 15 minutes away. So that is going to be my afternoon. So we are home from our parents night thing. And Steve wanted me to come and see the row of grass, but it has rained so much and it's very, not row of grass, row of lettuce. Not what I'm eating, not grass. Um. <laughs> you are not a horse. Of course, of course, but it uh, it's rained a lot, and so it's too soft out here in my boots that I'm wearing. I'm gonna just sink right in. So I'm gonna see the edge, and Steve is out there. Pro for you. What'd you do? I found I was cilantro hunted, and I found you a cilantro leaf. Oh, it's so good. 
Mm. She always, I'm so it, happy. It's funny when she gets the first one of the year, she always makes like fake excited face, like the pacified one. And then all of a sudden you see when it shifts to the actual excited face because it legitimately makes her excited every year. That is every year, every time. Oh. It's every time we bring stuff in. So He's now, fine. now I'm going to go back inside before I get you and me wet and he can do whatever he wants. <laughs> it is about 1220 and I spent the rest of my evening once we returned home from our uh, 4-H thing. I spent it trying to mess around with the shelves in here, move things all over. And Steve is going to get the rest of the lumber we need. Him and I talked some more when he got up about where we want some shelves. He's going to pick up lumber in the morning and he will cut those down for me. And so that will be happening tomorrow. Once the shelves are here, the books can all go on the shelves and out of the everywhere else. <laughs> and then we can just keep moving along. You know, because you kind of got to put things away in order of importance. Well, in our house, books are, number one, a huge Thing. there's a lot of them and they are very important so that will be happening and I was trying to stay for a little while I was just so sleepy I think it's from eating the stuff that I ate at the dinner so for those of you that were curious there were two creamed corns they're both good one was slightly better than the other it was mostly just a little sweeter the other one was a little bland but they were both delicious there were two different versions of meatballs one small one big there were some sloppy joes there was some like hamburger steaks there were like a spaghetti dish and a spiral pasta dish so the spaghetti dish was kind of um italiany there was a lasagna italiany and then there was a pasta dish that was more like mexican inspired and then about i don't know maybe a third to a half of the casserole is gone Desserts, I was kind of surprised there wasn't that much. The uh, There was some chocolate cake. Um, it was okay. It was just it tasted almost box mix, but it was fine. And then there was some super, 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 super rich chocolate brownies with chocolate chips in them. And they were good, but they were so rich. And yeah, it was, I don't know, it was what it was. Food was okay. The event was okay. It had really good attendance, though. So now, I'm just hanging out with the animals. I took Penelope's cone off to uh, let her deal with her, like, scab or whatever, you know, in whatever way she sees fit. But I will keep an eye on her and make sure that she doesn't start going after it again. But the medication they gave her seems to be doing its job. Her skin is back to normal color. Her face looks, you know, no longer pain. She looks happy again. She's just kind of pissed off because I had her in a cone. I don't know why that made her so upset. <laughs> it was for her own good. So, excitedly, I just finished the left front of my sweater. Yay! So, that means the front and the, well, one side of the front and the back are done. I have the other side of the front and the motif panel. And then, you know, finishing things like the collar and the hem and the sleeves and all that. But, I am making progress, and now I'm going to go take a shower because I'm very, very cold, and then I will come back, and we'll talk squeaky wheels. Okay, so I am all showered, and I'm roasty and toasty now, so squeaky wheels. I did a decent job the first, like, half to two-thirds of the week about writing down everything I ate and drank. That was good. Now, I have been writing it down in my notebook that I do everything in. That's the notebook I scrawl my crazy lady patterns in. I write my budgeting info, my grocery lists. It goes everywhere with me. Which means that when I stick it in a project bag because we're leaving the house, um, it doesn't always end up back on my desk, which is where it is easy for me to access it to write down what I am eating. And thus, midweek I stop because, well, I'm willing to write it down if it's easy, my lazy butt is not going to go and find my purse or my bag or whatever to get it back out because I'm lazy. So I'm going to try again this week. And I'm going to put a dedicated notepad on my desk purely to write down what I'm eating and not use it for anything else. So that is the plan on that. Um, the biggest thing that is squeaking in our house that needs to get taken care of is the mess that is our house. I did a good job of clearing out the boxes and things. Our kitchen 
our old kitchen, I guess, looks so much better. And our utility room looks so much better. So this week, the thing I want to get done is finishing to empty out all of the cupboards in the kitchen, the old kitchen. So everything that needs to be removed from those cupboards, I want out. I also would like to uh, get Steve's help taking all of the empty jars that are accumulating in that room. They need to go down to the basement, which is really a Steve thing. I just need to ask him to do it when it's convenient. And he'll have some days off coming up, so there should be time to get that done. I also want to finish this room as far as making sure that all the books are put away. I have books in the back of our minivan that need to come in the house on a day when it's not windy or raining. Because, you know, books, wind, rain, not a good combo. And I also want to actually finish, finish this room as far as, like, hanging all the things up decorative-wise or all the things that I, like, have. Like, I don't want to just lean things against the wall. I want to actually finish. Because I'm not very good at finishing things. Have you noticed? So, those are the things about our house and stuff. I would like to continue focusing on making meals. I think I did a good job this week. We also did a good job of not wasting any food. Like everything we've had, we've actually eaten the entirety of. So that is good. I want to do more of that. Again, I need to go through the basement and look again at what I have and what I have the most of and start trying to use some things up. Um, I should bring some more jars up too and fill my new pantry. But... We'll just stick with I need to cook <laughs> and do it with purpose. And we'll hope that that means that I have stocked the pantry. If not, that, that might be a squeaky wheel next week, but I'm not going to be too concerned this week. Since Steve has days off, I'm just really hoping that we can focus on the house. I'm not too concerned about focusing on school um, beyond just what we've been doing. It's working well. Um, there have been at least probably three or four days a week where the kids and I are doing a lot of stuff. And it's all been super delight-led. Like, things will just come up or they'll ask me a question and then they're totally willing to go and, like, do a writing assignment or whatever. So, I'd like to do that. I would like to spend a little extra time with my daughter doing, like, some stuff together, be it sitting down crocheting at the same time. She likes doing that. Coloring. There were... What got me working on coloring a few days this week was actually the fact that she was sitting out coloring. She'd go, are you going to color, Mom? And when I'd say, do you want me to? They'd all cheer and go, yes! So I would, because it made them happy. Cat fur. Yes, because there, there's a cat in my lap. Hi, Jezebel. And, yeah, since he has days off, I just want to be able to hang out with him. I need to focus as far as work stuff this week. I need to package up craft kits because I have a craft show on Saturday unless it rains and then I don't have a craft show on Saturday so I'm not stressing out and trying to get anything new done or made for it but I would like to get my craft kits portioned out mostly just so that I can get that stuff cleaned out of my craft room which I am very happy with I haven't spent a lot of time in it the last couple of days because I've been doing other stuff but that's happening and yeah, just trying to stay on top of things. So, I'm going to, this this one here just wants to curl up with my leg apparently. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. switch that tail, there you go. It's not like she needs anything other than love. She's so silly, my little guard cat. So, I'm gonna get this vlog put together and I will see you all tomorrow. Nighty night.